My passion for technology in education came out of, of a review I did for the government in 2008 called the Byron Review. Um, and it was really looking at how children could engage with digital worlds safely to become effective, competent, confident digital citizens. I mean, the piece was very much built around safety, but actually it became a much broader piece around engagement and how technology is so much part of children's lives. Now, what's really interesting for me as, as a mother, as a parent, is before I did the review, I knew my kids use technology, I use technology, but nowhere to the depth that my children do. So I knew my kids use technology. I was kind of envious about the way they engage with it, but I was also a little bit anxious about the way they engage with it um, in terms of what are they doing, how are they engaging, etc., etc. The sort of normal concerns that most parents feel. Having done the review and since then having done a lot more work around technology and children and learning, I just think, you know, we are so missing a trick here. I mean, here you have entire generation of children who are motivated and enthused by digital technology who are doing extraordinary things online i mean amazing things in terms of content creation whether it's uh, you know creative content whether it's actually you know writing blogging setting up wikis i mean extraordinary stuff and as adults who are stranded on the wrong side of the digital divide I don't think we're actually engaging with the sense that technology is the gateway to a lot of children and their learning. And when I think about the numbers of children who do languish in classrooms, the number of boys particularly I meet in their teens who have a profile for being very badly behaved. And actually when you dig into that, what you find is these kids have learnt to distract everybody from the fact that they really struggle with learning by being badly behaved or the class clown or whatever. It makes me kind of feel really sad in a way because I just think, you know what, if we'd given these children the opportunity to learn in a way that they can engage with, you'd have a very different learner now and you'd have a child with a very different sense of who they are. And when you think that learning has such an impact on self-esteem and that technology is the gateway for learning for children with a variety of needs, it's kind of like a no-brainer. And I think we've really got to kind of get it and catch up with it and use technology to empower children in learning much more than we do.